was seven years old, I wanted to be on the girls' basketball team, but I was too short. It made me sad because I had all the skills, but they needed a taller center. And no matter how much I practiced, well, I couldn't make myself taller. A few months later, on my eighth birthday, the old woman who lived next door gave me a gift. The gift of a frog. He will grant you one wish, the old woman told me. But only one, so choose carefully. Well, that was easy. I looked the frog right in the eye and I said, I wish I was taller. And suddenly, I was two inches shorter. Hey, what's up with that? I asked the frog. I said I wanted to be taller. The frog smiled and said, you were taller. And now you're shorter. Happy birthday. And then he hopped away. Well, that was the worst gift I ever got. But I have a much better gift for you. It's the winner of my Be a Famous Writer contest in the category for kids four to eight years of age. Oh, it's a funny, charming little story that just happens to be about a frog. And it's by Gabrielle Fuller, who's eight years old and from North Carolina. And it's called Pretty Princess and Funky Frog. Once upon a time, there lived a princess. One day, while the princess was playing outside, there came a witch. The witch said, I've been searching for days and days, looking for somebody to kiss this frog that used to be a prince. Then the witch pulled a fat bullfrog out of her purse and handed him to the princess. Take care of him well, said the witch. And then, poof, the witch was gone. Now, the princess was a spoiled, rotten little girl. Well... Why would anyone want a princess to kiss a frog? exclaimed the princess. That instant, instead of kissing the frog, she dropped him into the garbage dump and sealed the lid. That night, the princess was pretty happy about what she did. But when she got to her room, to her surprise, that fat bullfrog was asleep in her bed. Ow! screamed the princess. She tossed the bullfrog out the window and put on a nose plug when she got into bed. The next morning, the princess got up before anyone, even the cook, and when she got into the kitchen, guess what she saw? That same bullfrog was zapping up the food on his plate with his tongue, and the witch was in the kitchen making breakfast. We are going to be here until you kiss him, said the witch. Oh, fine, yelled the princess between sobs. She zoomed her lips onto the bullfrog's lips, and at that moment... The frog turned into a chicken, and they lived happily ever after. Oh, P.S. The princess started a farm. The end.